This time on Sick Puppy 4x4, things didn't go as planned. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink a drive. Don't drink a drive. <laughs>the location of our secret dam and it looks like we're about to come up on it now. Bargain sender out. Alright, now we've pinched our caravan from the caravan place, whatever you call it. Now we're going to reverse it into here with some drums on and turn it into a deadly houseboat, a sick puppy approved one. What do you reckon? Let's get Matt to do it all, eh? Yeah, right, righto. I'm gonna go sit down. I'll talk to you later, Matt. Have fun. Have fun. It's fucking toxic. The idea of the build right here. We got our houseboat that we acquired from local sources, and hopefully when we send her off into our lake, she's gonna float, and then we're just gonna have beautiful scenery. We'll just kick back on the water with the houseboat like we wanted to the start, and then we'll get a little friggin' baked potato on the cooking segment. <laughs> cooking segment tonight, Spud? Oh yeah, bud. Let's get cooking with the build. So I think we're gonna put Spud's car in the drink. We told him that he had to do it for it to work, but we just want to see Spud's car get bogged in the creek. Just send it all the way in, Spud. You'll be okay. We need it to float. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Quick, hold my beer. <laughs> Taking on water. I blame that on Spud, that was his doing that one. Oh mate, we had a float and we're about to push it back. And one of the snaps strapped off uh, snapped off in the rod. So we've got to try and utilize something else. Oh hey, Matt's got a strap holding his Matt, you're about to lose your strap. Hurry up then. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, alright let's put another, put that other 44, yeah. we're just going to go under the front. Hang on. The other 44 that we need has floated across the lake. Want to go for a walk? Yes. Right. So we are walking, going on a mission to get our barrel that floated away. Do you want to go grab it or do you want me to go and grab it? You go grab it. Hold my beer, watch this. 
<laughs> Gotta get him spud. Watch out for the big lizards. Hey, got me there! Oh, this fuck, that guy's not real good. Go faster. <laughs> oh, Rose! Pull your wedge out, mate! We need to get the 44 back! It's too heavy! Swim it over. Nah, that's too scary. Do breaststroke. Oh, Spud. Just found something. Walk across that. Oh, Jesus. Don't fall, Spud. <laughs> Don't fall, Spud. <laughs> ow. Oh, ow. Ow. Sorry. That's my oh. heel. Alright, we found our drum. We got a bit sidetracked. Yeah, Spud. Watch out, kid. <laughs> We're gonna put that one under the drawbar. That way, if one of them breaks again, because that's where all the weight is right at the front. So if one of them breaks again like it did, we're not gonna do a flip over at oh, the middle, middle of the there? creek. Nothing much we can't do over here at Sick Puppy Engineering. You got me a construction hat, we can build anything. Alright, Cody's in. Matt's in. Spud's in. We're good. I'm just gonna sit on me shit right here. We got a toilet in our trailer. <laughs> Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, that's in there. We're gonna die. We're taking on water. No, we're not. <laughs> the wheels. This is what I call luxury. Look at that view. It's about ankle deep in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> what are we trying? Lucky you didn't go through the floor then. What are we trying here? Oh, my balls just went up into my gut. I'm going to drive my car around there, use the winch, jack the side up, put the drums underneath, and then use the Toyota. Use Roy's car, and jack the other side up, put the drums underneath the other side. A bit more flotation. Stability. I Big like word. it as it is because there's about four inches of water in no, here. No, it sucks. It sucks. We're going to do a bit of... Quick promotional speech. Can you jump on Patreon? Donate a couple of bucks and support our crazy ideas. We'll really appreciate it and you'll see more of this. Become part of the inside crowd. Get behind the scenes. You get a complimentary sticker. And you get your input in, in what we're going to do next. We're on there so you can start a conversation with us and tell us what you think about the show. Now back to the show. done. Now we do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully it all works out. That was great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I'm out of the lake. We've got the drums underneath the caravan. Now it's time to have a half hour to an hour hydration system session. Session. And then we'll go take that out for a good test run and see if she floats. We'll see you in a hydration session. Alright, something happened during the hydration session. <laughs> this was Papa Slug's fault. That fella. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're fucking on about. <laughs> you alone I'm high and dry. I'm fucking scared of So 
somehow we got to get our bloody houseboat, which is sunk, thanks to Papa Slug. Cody. Back onto Cody. his drums. <laughs> <laughs> How hard can it be? That hurt? <laughs> the helmet hit me back in the head. <laughs> Let it drain out, though. Oh, that's a That was fine until you touched it. Oh. <coughs> it was go. Oh, sorry, that was. Oh. Oh. Just turn out the water out a little bit and we'll try and put this bowl under. I think it's too much under the fucking bowl. I don't. Okay. Carry that, go look. Right. Come back. So now we've refloated. Oh, what are we gonna? What are we gonna call this? The unsinkable two. The unsinkable two. <laughs> the unsinkable two. Now that it's refloated, we're gonna have a short hydration session, and we're gonna check back in the cooking segment. Hey, Roy. What are you done, Roy? You fucked it again. Roy, you're gonna be banned in a minute. <laughs> How's it going? Chef Spud here. Welcome back to another Sick Puppy 4x4 <laughs> cooking segment. On the menu tonight, we're going to have a go out cooking stuffed sausages. Four packets of pork sausages, big thick ones. We cook them up. We've got some bacon and cheese and some tomato. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff them with all that. I've had these before and they are sensational. Sensational. He's getting professional. He is. I'm in the brand new kitchen on the HMS Unsinkable 2. State-of-the-art technology here. Well, we've got our my eBay Bunsen burner type thing. We've got our multifunctional leveling, leveling device, which is just bits of our boat, ready to go. Slap up some snags, the pork snags, without cutting myself. Did you sterilise your knife first? Like? Yeah. Yep, she's sterilising it. How far are we out to see Papa Slug? I mean, then we've got to be miles out. Can you do us a favour, Roy? I mean, Paul? <laughs> Can you go over to my box in the side of my car and go with No, I'll have to fucking swim. Get swimming, mate. For miles. We need tongs. Okay. Take a dive. <laughs> That's a good dive, buddy. We've had a few hydration sessions, so the energy's a bit low right now. We've been at sea, we've been working hard keeping this thing afloat all afternoon. He's just not Chef Spud at the moment, is he? It's a new hat. hat. You're fucking wrecked, mate. I need some more. Sippage. Yeah, cheers there, mate. Appreciate it, eh? You're the bluntest knife in history. I'm turning off, yeah. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, Roy. Can you do me a favor? I've just dried off. In the back of the Jeep. No. Left hand side drawer. Get me and Thorpe over here doing all the swimming. In the back of my Jeep, it's Chef Spud's in the trance right now. Struggling to stay alive. Swim, Paul, swim. Here we go. This Here you go with your butter knife. This is what I call a <coughs> knife. Ah, I nearly chopped your damn finger off. That's not a fucking knife. <laughs> That's a fucking butter knife. It's a toothpick. You gotta keep these hot, mate. Nicey, nicey. <laughs> you f***ing <laughs> <are cool. laughs> There you go. Once they're fully knackered, take them out. What I'm going to do is I'll cut some V out of them. Then I'll put some cheese in the bottom. Then I'll put my bacon. And then I'll put the tomato on top. Need a little, like a little bit of music or something, you know, get the Oh, I turned the fucking rock. We just need like a little stereo, you know, just... That's I'll go get sweet. a fucking stereo. No, no. Get the mood happening. I'm after like a good vibe, you know, just, just a good vibe, just to cook some snags, you know, like... Right, and slice and dice. Oh, Cody's over there, you're doing well. <laughs> you're doing well over there, mate, eh? Yeah, you've done well, mate, you've done real well. We haven't got royals for this music, we can't play it. <laughs> Ridge Rider. I made the shittest 
crap on the world. This is an old bread knife. Oh, well, don't use it. No, no, I'm just, no, the gas is good. Gas. No, he says my gas ain't good enough. 30 miles offshore, I might as well fucking drown. You could have just cut them while they're raw and then they cook up and open up. You're the fucking chef around here, mate. Yeah, look at this, mate. Try that, mate. <laughs> what you open up? You open right up. What am I? Oh yeah, she proper opened up. Oh. You hold it. You hold it. You hold it. We got to try and you know make it look like it. Yeah, that's breezy. You want a V out of them, don't you? Yeah, like a V, yep. Yeah. Just like this? Yeah. Oh! You just let them cool down there a little bit, mate, eh? No worries. I warned ya. Hey, guys, there's your V. Cool. And then you wrap them in bacon. Well, I can. You got bacon to wrap it in? Like whatever I do. Yeah, that's what you meant to do. I thought you were wrapping the bacon. No, I was going to put bacon in the top, but yeah, no, we'd do that. That's a better idea, wrapping the bacon. Oh, and yeah. put two sticks through it. Like oh, oh right! Can you know what's the favour, mate? You got the bacon out of me, friend! Have a slug? Cheers, mate. Chef Spud's back! In action! He's out of here, he's down in my tent. Call it the gecko chef. So we got our sausage packed full of cheese and tomato. We just wrap it in bacon. We may have to abort this one without toothpicks. I think this is a fail. I think I might need to go back to the old drawing board. That's a finished product right there. Bacon, sausage, cheese, tomato. Everything you need. But wait, there's more. What you do with this bad boy right here. Yeah, he's got the idea. Throw him on some bread. Mm. Might have been a bit of a fail on the preparation. I tried to be a bit too fancy. It was a last minute decision. Food's good anyway. We'll have a feed. Then we'll have a hydration session. We might get some footage. If not, we're dead. Right, I got some bad news. So last night Spud decided to go out into a houseboat right out in uncharted waters and he's capsized. So we've gone out there this morning having a look for him but no luck. So my heart goes out to all his family. Breakfast and, ready. Oh, fuck yeah. this thing out, take it back to its rightful owner and um, yeah, do a proper send off for Spud I guess. Alright, we're off. So you guys may have noticed my new phone holder sitting on my dash right here. This thing's made by a company called Stag Automotive and these guys are the sponsors for this episode. It's a magnetic, magnetic clip that holds your phone. You've seen the bounces and bloody ruts we've been going through on this episode and my phone has not moved this whole time. Unlike the bloody caravan, this thing has the sick puppy tick of approval. It's sick puppy proof. Unlike other bloody phone holders, this thing holds on. Like I'm pulling that hard now. Now this thing's kind of like a hidden gem. It's about 30 bucks. And unlike the other ones I bought where you spend up to $100 and it just keeps falling off the windscreen. But this thing, the whole trip, the phone's been bouncing around, hasn't fallen off. Shout out to them, they're the sponsors for this show. If you want to grab one, the link will be on the screen right now. Onwards.
It's fully dead. Um, they hit a pothole. They hit a pothole and the whole body has ejected through the floor. Whoops. What a long So we're about halfway home. We're just going to have to skull drag it. That's all that's left. So that's it. We cannot go no further. We've officially killed the van. I'm surprised it actually lasted that long. So that's it. Jump on Patreon, become one of the boys, support our madness. We'll get this bastard home and we'll see you in the next episode. We're not that rough on stuff, are we?